A dam is simply a structure that's built on a, on a creek or a river that stops water flowing downstream. It forms a lake behind it to store the water that we've captured. In the case of Wyvernhoe and Somerset, we store water primarily for the water supply. Uh, we then also have that flood compartment above that, uh, which allows us to be able to manage floods. On our ungated dams, as the water rises and the dam becomes full, it will spill. It's designed to do that, but depending how much is flowing into the dam will depend how much is then also flowing out of the dam. In contrast, we have a gated dam like Wyvernhoe here, where the spillway is controlled by gates. So as the water rises, we have that ability to store more water and then make control releases depending on that flood event. One third of Wyvernhoe storage is set aside for water supply and two thirds is set aside for the flood compartment. And we can hold back a lot of volume of water in Wyvernhoe and then actually release that in a controlled manner. During a flood event, the, the water can go most of the way up those walls. That's what the dam's designed to do. At that point, the gates would be operating and we'd be making controlled releases. Uh, and that's all about managing those flood events. So we need to think of the Brisbane River as a very large catchment with many sub-catchments and the Wyvernhoe Dam catchment's only one part of that. What we're doing with Wyvernhoe where we can is to hold back water so as not to add to that flooding. So we let that subside before we allow water to flow downstream. Unfortunately, dams cannot store water indefinitely. We have only a finite amount of volume that we can store. Our flood operations engineers make decisions about you know, how much water can we hold back while also maintaining the safety of the dam, and mitigating floods downstream, and then ensuring that the water supply compartment is, is full at the end of the flood event as well. We have a specialist team in our flood operations centre. What the team does, it looks at rainfall data, stream flow, other catchment conditions, soil moisture, and actually what's happening downstream of the dam. We have very complex models that are operated during events. They are constantly refined to have the most appropriate and accurate uh, estimates of what is likely to happen. We're on the upstream side of Wyvernhoe Dam, so upstream side of the gates. We've got the five radial gates behind us. During a flood event, we'll get uh, directions from the Flood Operations Centre and the, the operators on site will then go to open the gate. Extreme rainfall events are very, very unpredictable. And so the Flood Operations Centre has to use the information that's available, consider what is potentially going to change in the future and then make decisions based on that. So that means that we can't hold water for too long because we have to be prepared for the next potential uh, inflow that might happen during that major weather event. 